What's up everybody? I just literally got back from Walmart and uh, we had kind of a larger grocery list today. So I kind of wanted to show you guys a grocery haul that I just did. You won't see like a lot of meats because as I've been saying, our freezer is full of meat. So without further ado, here's what we got today. I'll take you through it. I got two um, reusable grocery bags down here full so a lot of things are multiples but you could experience that with me so let's start with the freezer bag so i can get these things into the freezer all right bring it up to us first we've got some frozen chopped onions because it's just fast and easy and when you realize you don't have any fresh onions you remember you've got frozen chopped onions in the freezer you can use. That's the same with the frozen mushrooms. When you run out of fresh mushrooms and you don't want to go to the grocery store, you've got some backup. I got a problem with freezer vegetables, all right? Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm addicted to buying a lot of freezer vegetables. So I also bought um, three bags of broccoli florets, not chopped broccoli. These are the best, superior. Sadly, my air fryer has died. She took her last breath, so truly, now that I've gone back to microwaving these, trying to cook them on the stove, taking forever to cook them in the oven, the best way to eat, freezer broccoli. All right, warm it up in your microwave for like five minutes or less than the recommended time just so it's kind of cooked and not completely frozen. Dump them in your air fryer and let them get super crispy. <clears throat> the best. And I miss it, can't wait to buy another air fryer. I also got three bags of the California blend. This is a favorite, it's carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli. And this one actually does taste good just right out the microwave. And I put some everything but the bagel seasoning on top of this. And they're delicious. All right, three bags of that. We'll put that in the freezer. Also, I got one bag of asparagus spears and one bag of fine green beans. And that's all for freezer vegetables. If you wanna see my addiction, here it is. I can't stop, I love it. I love freezer vegetables. Here we already have some stir, oops, some stir fry mix, which is so delicious, frozen fruits, um, Brussels sprouts, some frozen bananas and strawberries. And then this is literally full to the top of, of everything I just showed you, so. That's what the bottom half of my freezer looks like, in case anybody was wondering. Oh, I don't know if I got room in this freezer. But I also got frozen mango chunks for like smoothies or whatever else you're feeling. And then I got our staples. These are our must-haves our chicken and maple breakfast sausages. I always get at least two of these because I'm not saying we go through them fast. They're big bags, these are from Walmart. Nine bucks for this giant bag. Why wouldn't you get two of them? I'll put one in this freezer. Let me take you to our other freezer. I think, oh, our last freezer item. Some new chick on the block. These are the spicy ones. We haven't had these in a little bit, so. Just got them. These are something that I really like to keep in the freezer because when you don't want to cook dinner, you still have kind of a healthier option. You can have two pieces or 96 grams. It's usually a little more than two pieces, but I mean, there's four servings per this bag, so we split it up. And for one serving is only 12 carbs, 16 protein, and one and a half fats. So usually we eat two servings each and get 30 some gram, 32 grams of protein out of that and then only 24 carbs and three fats if you eat half this bag. So it's kind of just something nice to keep in our freezer. 
to make on days where you just don't want to cook things. Let's take you to my other freezer and put things away. In our house, we most certainly, oops, have a deep freezer. This deep freezer has fun things like uh, some leftover Halo Top ice creams for when you're feeling snacky. We've got um, almost all our meats in here, so I've got some, these are ground turkeys. We have our chicken sausages in here. Some show pow in here. And then all the meats, turkey bacon, that's meat, turkey bacon, uh, this little last, on our last thing of chicken sausages, chicken thighs in here, some freezer vegetables. Also, this is carrots and Brussels sprouts. There's some vegetables down there too. But mainly, this has all our meats in it. But because my other freezer is out of space, I'm just going to put these guys in here. Um, we're strange and I always keep the labels on things no matter how little or left because what if I forgot what this was, you know, it's just who I am as a person. All right, that's it for the freezer stuff. Let's move on to some refrigerator. I didn't really actually get, I don't know if I got anything for the refrigerator besides cheese. I don't care what nobody says, I'm not gonna stop eating cheeses. All right, you don't need to stop eating cheese either, just if you are trying to watch your calories and uh, watch your macros. These can be sneaky because you're likely putting on more than one serving. And once you see what one serving looks like of shredded cheese, it's usually enough. So we got some Fiesta blend shredded cheese per 28 grams, which typically is like just a nice little handful is eight fat, one carbon, six proteins. So it's not terrible if you have a hard time hitting your fats. Eat some cheeses. We got some fresh Asiago per two slices is eight fat, one carbon, seven proteins. So that's pretty good. And then my favorite is the Colby Pepper Jack. And one slice is six fat, no carbs, and four proteins. So let's put those in the refrigerator. And last in this bag, I got 10, cause they're a dollar right now at Walmart, $1. And these are so good to have for on the go people. Or if you just come home in a hanger rage, these are also really handy. So I got 10 of them. I got two of every flavor that I wanted. So I got two, these are tuna packs by the way. And they come with a spoon up here, a little spork I think cracked pepper and sea salt. And then I keep my <laughs> tunas in. I took one of these from the store. They'll give them to you, you know. They're just gonna recycle them or throw them in the trash can. So I took one of the Sarkis things and I just keep all my tunas in here. So I still have honey barbecue, a ranch, and spicy chili Thai, but we're obviously coming to the end of this. So I got two cracked peppers. I got two, this one's so good. The lemon sesame ginger, mm, so delicious, I do recommend. I got two jalapenos, also delicious. Oh, and I think the macros on these are all fairly similar. So for the jalapeno one, 70 calories, 0.5 grams of fat, so half a gram of fat two carbs and 14 protein. Amazing, no fat in the, oh, and the last one I got ours. Um, two sun, sun dried tomato and basil. This one's super delicious also, just saying. Okay, one of these is 60 calories, no fat, two carbs, 13 proteins. So they're all fairly similar, 60 calories, 70 calories, 13 proteins, 14 proteins. Let's see, the lemon, 
Oh, this one's got carbs in it because of the lemon, sesame, and ginger. So kind of depends on the ingredients. Girls, not in the kitchen. Thank you. This is still 80 calories, half a gram of fat, six carbs, so really not that much, and 12 protein. Get out of my gym, or of my grocery bag, you know, those are tomatoes, no thank you. These dogs. And then for the sea salt is half fat, no carbs, 14 protein. And then that's what it looks like. So fun. So easy to grab. Then when you open up your pantry, you've got them right here. Any flavor you want. Peanuts, you cannot have my tomatoes. Say hello. Say hello. Okay. Don't eat my tomatoes, please. Okay, apparently I gotta get to this, this bag here before Peanut eats my things. So that's everything for my first reusable grocery bag. Do recommend these things are huge. I took all that stuff out of this bag. I impress everybody when I go to the stores with these things because they hold so much. Do rec got them on Amazon for cheap. Save the planet, do your part. Got some coffee filters. Got an immense amount. Oh. I'm just saying, uh, the Walmart they put out there, <laughs> springy, summery scents of these wax cubes, in case you want some of those. They're only $2 each. I got by the pool. Maybe. It doesn't want me to show you these things because it's not food, but like, sometimes I do more fun things than just eat, you know? Not usually, whatever. Oh, all right, yes, by the pool. Honeysuckle pineapple, guava peach, Pacific Coast Highway, summer strawberry and mimosa. Mm. I thought I got another one, but maybe it's hiding in there. Back up, ladies. Don't need to be here. Also, I got a restock of... Girl, chill out, chill out. You're interrupting my grocery haul. Okay, I got a restock of the <sighs> cooking sprays because we go through these fairly quickly. So I got three of them to keep us restocked. I'll put these away. Can you see me still? Oh yeah, a little bit. In my little Lazy Susan down here. All right, got some of those. As Peanut was trying to eat, I got a little bundle of tomatoes. I usually just put those out on the counter. I got a pizza cutter because I'm 25 years old and I don't own a pizza cutter and I love pizza, so really stepping my life up. Also got these, the mini holy guacamole, but these ones are just, oh yeah, these are the holy guacamoles. So they have just holy avocado if you didn't know. The macros are practically the same. Um, but for one of these little things in here, it is 120 calories, 10 fats, five carbs, and one protein. And it's just, these are the best because they're already weighed and measured for you. This is two ounces of guacamole or avocado. The only difference I think that a holy avocado has 11 fat instead of 10. So, and they also have a spicy one, and it's delicious. But today I went with just the classics. So there's six of these guys in here for like four bucks at Walmart. They're expensive everywhere else. Put those in our refrigerator. We go through those uh, pretty quickly because we'll share one usually. So we'll just go half and half and then you only have five fats, two and a half carbs and half a gram of protein. But we'll split them in half in the little container and I'll put half on top of like an omelet or a quesadilla and Andrew will take the other half, so. Occasionally we'll do a whole one each. Depends on how, how guacky are you feeling for the day. 
All right, okay, I did get some more refrigerator things. I got some spinach, just some fresh spinach, and I dug through to the back to find this one that's good till May 3rd and not April, so. I did the same thing with some shredded lettuce. Dug through to find ones that are gonna last longer than a couple days. My fridge is so very unorganized right now, but it's okay. Peanut, you're really just standing right in the way. I got frozen mangoes, but I also got two um, fresh mangoes because Don't Know saw them and was really wanting some mangoes. So, got not ripe ones so they could sit here for a little bit. But I love fruits. Um, went through the whole banana caramel crunch granola. Can you leave peanut alone, please? This is the last time. The last time. So I got some Love Crunch chocolate strawberry granola just to put on top of my Greek yogurt that I put my chocolate collagen in. So she is so obnoxious to peanut. I feel so bad. <laughs> So if you use a whole serving, which I doubt I would if I was putting this on top of my Greek yogurt, maybe I would go for half a serving, but if you ate a whole serving, which is a quarter cup or 30 grams, that's 130 calories, five fats, 20 carbs, two proteins, and six sugars. So it's not terrible. I'm gonna put this by my protein powders because that's where I like it. I also got a 2% Faye Greek yogurt. Truthfully, I wanted a 0%, but they didn't have any. Not that there's anything wrong with 2%, it's only three and a half fats per 170 grams, or three quarters of a cup. But lately, I've been uh, really eating more fattier things, I feel like, so I kind of wanted to end my day with something not fatty and just protein, but it's all right, it is what it is. It's only three and a half fats, five carbs, 17 proteins. Please get out of the kitchen and go somewhere. Okay, it's raining, but you're in the water. All right, anybody that has dogs, multiple of them, maybe they understand my struggle. Basically, it's just so ornery. She's so ornery. She loves being all up in Peanuts Grill. A staple, a must have in this household are chocolate chips. So I got a restock of dark chocolate chips because I like to put these in our waffles. We like them in our pancakes. And sometimes I'll put a little bit on top of my Greek yogurt. Um, just something fun and feels like you're eating something bad, but it's just some chocolate chips. And if you weigh them out, really one serving is quite a bit. So one serving is one tablespoon or 14 grams. I would, this would be something I would weigh out because I think if you measured out one tablespoon, you would have less than 14 grams, but I'm not sure, I've never done that. But for 14 grams of chocolate chips, you have five fats, eight carbs, and less than one protein, and only six sugars. So, a staple here. We also have semi-sweet, but I don't like milk chocolate. I like dark chocolate. And one fun one, we have Reese's chocolate, or peanut butter chips. And we'll do like one serving of these and one serving of dark chocolate chips in a Kodiak cake waffle. Give it a try. What else did we get? We got fresh mushrooms to eat before we move on to the frozen mushrooms. We have bagel thins. Per one bagel thin, you can have 110 calories, one fat, 25 carbs, five fibers, and four proteins. Sometimes they're at Walmart, sometimes they're not at Walmart. Also a staple in the house, uh, for me at least, are the protein tortillas. They're my favorites, and it's seven protein, 15 carb, and three fats in one tortilla. So if you had two of them, you're at six fat, 30 carbs, and 14 proteins. And a lot of fiber, 12 fiber in one tortilla. 
That's a lot of fiber for your day. Two tortillas and you're at your fiber goal for the whole day. And last, aside from toothpaste, some carnitas because it looks delicious and this is something I don't think we have in the freezer. Meh, sorry if we do, but I got some, the only meat product actually today. Some carnitas, this, you just literally put it on the stove in a pan and cook it till it's done, but it's already cooked. And per three ounces, so there's five servings in this thing, per three ounces of your carnitas is 14 fat, no carbs, and 20 proteins. And it's pretty delicious. So if you're feeling something different, these are at the grocery outlet also, but I'm pretty certain, I'm pretty sure they cost the same at the grocery outlet as they do at Walmart. That's my entire Walmart haul. This video is 20 minutes long, so I hope that you watch it and enjoy and got some ideas for some things that you want from the Walmart. I only spend on all these things, which includes, um, oh, that's a lie, I'm not done. I also got two, what are these called? Some uh, soap for your hands. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> um, because summer scents, and I just love all the seasons. I got Ocean Breeze, Peachy Clean. I'm lying, there's also so many drinks. We love drinks in this family. So I got the Clear American Peach. Andrew's favorite is the Pineapple Coconut, but they never friggin' have it. Walmart, step your game up. So I got Peach, don't even know if I like it. I also got a Dawn dish soap. I know, it's exciting. I live an exciting life. So for redemption, in case he doesn't like the peach, I got him two of the big pineapple coconuts, and these can last quite a few days if you're just drinking them with dinner, which is typically what we do. And then for myself, I got 12 ice drinks. I won't show you all of them. I got two of every flavor that I liked. So I got lemon lime, Strawberry, watermelon, etc., etc. Unless you're so interested, I also got a strawberry lemonade, a coconut pineapple, two of all of these, peach nectarine, and orange mango. Okay, that and parchment paper. That concludes my Walmart haul. I got all of these things for 170 bucks. So truly, I feel like I did a pretty good job of walking out of there not spending all my dollars. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about my grocery shopping haul, drop them down below. Otherwise, have a great weekend.